dark. I'm gonna read the second one afterwards will hopefully be a bit lighter. Um, this poem I'm reading is based on like um, recent events. Um, I don't know if you guys heard about what happened to Sonia Massey. Um, she called the police because she was worried that there was someone in her house and then they shot her dead in her home. So it's just um, basically based on that. So this one's called Sonia. It's been weeks since you died, but many days since I saw the footage of your last moments here on earth. And though the world continues to spin around and Gaza burns and the USA is gripped in the frenzy of another election year, I can't forget you. Even though the new cycle is destined to go on, threatening to scrub your name from memory, I can't forget. Because to forget is to justify this wrong and to be complicit with a system content for it to go on. To save yourself, you called on the name of Jesus to rebuke the evil that stood before you. Policemen embodying centuries of oppression standing tall over you. Because the call on Jesus' name does not conjure up the power of the man who walked in Galilee. No, it calls up the power of the God of your nation. The God whose eyes shine brightly in the flames of burning crosses searing across the plain. The God who can't recognise the plight of the migrant in his haste to tell them to go home. This is the God who saves politicians from the hell of bullets born from their hate-filled rhetoric, but is powerless to protect a father as he shows his stricken, fear-stricken wife and daughters. Time and time again, this God fails. He failed us. He failed you. And he always watches silently as they mar our black bodies with hate. So let me speak your name again, Sonia. Let these words be kisses to your face, to wash away the, wash away the hell of bullets. I shower with you with love. Let these tears cleanse the hate from your frame. Thank you. As the caterpillar leaves its cocoon, past the walls of billowing silk, does it bemoan its freedom? Does it choose to change its state? Does it truly know the cost of becoming a bought of butterfly? If I halt the process, say no and rest here, am I denying myself freedom? To be small is to be maligned, but I'd love to be a leaf on your forest floor, encapsulated by the peace of trees. That buys a certain freedom. If I were one with the trees, if I were one with nature, would the material world melt away? From the pressing and the overdue, would I find freedom? I know those that are living but are dead, and those who are dead but lived. Fear can no longer be my stranglehold. I want my freedom. Thank you.